If you've been watching our last couple of videos, you'll know that we've been experiencing a lot of rain due to a La Nina weather pattern. Sydney is facing a once in 50 year flood emergency tonight. Houses have been floating downstream, whole towns have been inundated, businesses ruined and people displaced. Not to mention the poor animals that get caught up in it. This poor cow somehow floated 20 kilometres downriver to end up on this beach. Despite the odds against us, we've managed to continue our work. So this is the naked truth about living aboard a boat while renovating it. I'm Adriana. This is Jim and Lucy. Six years ago, we moved on to our 42-foot yacht to get her ready for cruising. We left Sydney in late 2019 when fires and border closures took the wind out of our sails. Now we're ready to cruise the east coast of Australia. Subscribe and get on board. This is what it looks like after a couple of weeks of non-stop torrential rain. Here in Port Stephens, we've been lucky with only minor flooding, but the water, usually so clear and turquoise, is a sickening brown and full of debris. This week, we've been given a reprieve. Good weather is predicted, and so we've jumped onto the work before more rain can come. Oh, that looks promising. <laughs> Fantastic. Get the body tape off sooner. Okay, Jimmy, what are you doing? I have to um, prepare this area of the deck for the painting. Mm -hmm. So I'm removing these mushroom vents. I'm going to sort of see what's going on underneath them. I'm probably going to chase the screw holes down with this, mm -hmm. just to make sure that there's no damage to the timber. Yep. Then I'll refill that with epoxy. Um, that'll make a good um, base for the screws to go into anyway, and, and it'll be safer going forward. It is about 25 years old, and the plastic inside, which is a clear plastic that allows light in, is a bit brittle. The other one over here, you can see where I've taken it off, has, um, has cracked, it's fairly brittle. So the good thing with these is you can leave them open under pretty well most conditions. And if it's if you get really, really bad conditions, like almost, you can push this up mm -hmm. and it seals against the underside of the cowl. Right. So you actually get no water in it at all. But, but we've had it down when we've had a lot of green water over the deck. It's never, never, never come in. And that's what they look like. So here's the mushroom. I think because it is the clear plastic, mm. it's more susceptible to UV damage. So you can see that's a little it's bit cracked there. Already. It's pretty brittle, you can feel it. This is where we have one here near the forepeak. And the starboard side is in the head. What I'm trying to do here is just to remove all the crazed paint. Mm -hmm. You can see. How does it look? Feels okay. Sing in me. 
Once again, a small job of cleaning up around this fitting mm -hmm. has ended up becoming bigger, bigger than, than Ben Hur. <laughs> Adri's applying the two-pack Norglass Epoxy Primer Undercoat. Uh, we found it to have great filling and adhesive properties, and because it's suitable for below waterline applications, I feel that it makes a great barrier coat and an extra line of defence for the deck. If you recall in our previous episode, the dark grey primer under the sunlight was measured at 44 degrees Celsius when the ambient temperature was only 26 degrees. This heat makes applying the two-pack top coat tricky as it wants to skin off pretty quickly. You've got to work really fast. I chose the grey colour primer undercoat because I thought I could better see any mist spots but in hindsight, for summer conditions, I should have used the white colour. Number anyway. The copter on the line said she'd get me in that day. Dr. Deuce. We've also learnt the hard way that it's better to carefully remove the tape before the paint sets up hard because it can be really difficult to remove it later. How'd you like a handiwork? Today's painting has come out the best for the main reason that it hasn't rained. Some more epoxy and and paint brushes actually so we've run out it's easter saturday so yeah. on our way to church yep <laughs> the church of work that's right <laughs> Ooh, 
heavy got artillery. The goodies. Yeah. We get excited by painting epoxy. Yep. Yeah. So what you doing, Jimmy? Um, I'm just uh, going to grind off this bit of fiberglass. These are the four holes that used to be for the life raft mounting bracket. Yeah. So I'm. Uh, we're not using them anymore. So they've just had a bit of fiberglass over them to keep the weather out. Yep. So I'm going to grind that off, uh, drill through to clean the hole up, fill it with epoxy, and then you know prime it ready for the non-slip. Been waiting a long time to do this, and it's so good to get it done. You ready? For the one towards the bow. Yeah. I've created a champ around the hole yeah. and we've drilled out the hole so that we're back through to clean timber mm -hmm. because it had been filled with like a putty yep. before it was fiberglassed over. So I might just countersink that top a little bit more so I'll need to get you to go down below one more time. Okay. Front. Meanwhile, next to the boat, there's a feeding frenzy. So it's Easter Monday and today's little festivity is uh, this aft deck area. So I've primed that hole in this surrounding area with a low viscosity resin that soaks into the ply. I've given it two, two coats of that. And now um, this epoxy should definitely uh, get a, a really good bond. around this main sheet winch with the uh, multi-tool and the 40 grit paper which is pretty coarse mm -hmm. and also removed the perimeter of the old non-slip because I'm going to two pack epoxy prime this whole area here yeah. right round here e extending out into the uh, non-slip area
So, what's the naked truth about living on a boat while renovating it? Hey Brie, it's time to paint, honey. Hey Brie, I need you to mask up now. Because all I can promise you, lads, is relentless pain and hardship. Now, if you're prepared to make do and make sacrifices, and furthermore, are willing to swear by it, I promise you our chances of survival are fair. This is The Naked Truth. Next time, join us when we reveal what we found under the cap rails at the stern of the boat, giving truth to the words that owning a boat is not for the faint of heart. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and leave a comment, because your support is what encourages us to keep making these videos. Wherever you are in this world today, Stay well, stay safe, and keep that tail wagging.